to our show already in progress. Folks, my first guest tonight is an Emmy and Peabody award-winning comedian who has just written a new memoir. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Craig Ferguson. <laughs> By the way, the untucked shirt. Let me see. It's the untucked Is shirt. Is it one of those untuck it no, shirts? No, it's just a regular shirt, but I'm going crazy. <laughs> it's not It's not even an untucked shirt. You're meant to tuck it. I'm like, you guys. You see, I don't want to give in to the untucking thing because then my belly wins. Yeah. But if I stay tucked in, there's a certain amount of shame that will keep me from You're, letting it all look, go. At a certain point in life, all men have to either go pants-wise, Texas or Florida. Let me explain. <laughs> Texas, how you doing? Florida, hey, how you doing? Wow. Texas or Florida? Under the navel or over, over. the navel? Under or over, Texas or Florida? Oh. Now, well, you can what, have no, pa no pants at all. No <laughs> pants at all. Well, you can do that, but that's yeah. more Alabama. Yes. <laughs> I don't know why I said I that. I know everybody in Alabama is like, no, how lovely. dare you? I say, how dare you? Because yeah, exactly. they talk like Foghorn Leghorn in Alabama. I'm just <laughs> telling you. Now, uh, 2020, we got 20, 21 candidates on the Democratic side. Mm. How will you differentiate, or how, how can we differentiate among I, all I those people? Suggestion. Because it's, it's a bit of a glut. I have a suggestion. The, there's a lot of candidates. The difficulty is motivating Americans to vote, right? So why not... So traditionally low turnout. Right. So motivate Americans... What do Americans like to vote on? Singing competitions? Sure. Dance competitions. Sure. Combine American Idol and that other one, uh, you, so you think you can dance fatty, and, and put them all together. <laughs> but make it part of the Democratic Party process. Introduce a singing segment. Oh, we wow. all, we'll sit in chairs and, like, Joe Biden will be like, Hey, how you doing? And then I'll... <laughs> You turn around and you say, that's what he sounds like when he's really? saying it. I know, yeah. I know. Yeah, and then... What was you know, the name of that song part? was Hey, How You're Doing? Yeah, yeah, that's... I, well, I didn't want to sing a song you couldn't afford to pay for. I'm trying... I'm thinking about the you. the man who did TV. I'm thinking about man. you. Just, you know what's always safe? You know what's always safe? Forever, Jacka. Camp Town Races, oh, always oh, good. Oh, no, I don't know how safe that is. Oh, no, they don't... I, I own the rights to Camp, Camp Town Race. Yeah. Oh, wow. Have you been singing that song? Sure, all the time. I'm coming yeah. after you, buddy. <laughs> so, make them... Who would be a good singer, do you think? I think Buttigieg probably can sing. Yeah, I think that's probably true, yeah. I, it's three, three people, like yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think, I think Biden may have a kind of soft, smooth jazz, kind of like... <laughs> And then Bernie, you know, is going to like entertain the UK. I think it'd be great. No, we've heard him sing. He goes, you "Really? Uh, what, is, what is he saying? Uh, this land is your land. This man is my oh, land. Oh yes, that's right. From that's California right. to the New York Island. That's not really singing. Redford Forest. It counts. Can you it sing counts. that? What? Can you sing that? Yeah, that we can win. We don't owe Woody Guthrie any money, do we? He's uh, long gone. Long gone. Oh, so come so after me, Woody. Now, the dark... Is that, that was, the ghost? I mean, that's the ghost that, of Woody Guthrie. Ghost or zombie? Yeah. Is there a skeletal know, I, hand I, coming for me or a guy in a sheet? I don't know. Well, let's wait till Christmas and find out. Now, uh, uh, the United States often does not feel united. Mm. You know, feels mm. very, people called we're in a cold civil war. Mm. But what about you, you, you uh, born, raised in Scotland? Scotland, Trill? yeah. Okay. How about the UK? You, you live over there now? Well, I like that you call it the UK because that is the correct term for it. it, it it's the United Kingdom. Whereas people, a lot of people say England, but it's not England. It's England and Scotland and Northern Ireland and Wales. It's four countries in a kingdom which is united. It's, and it, like most menage a quatres, it's, uh, <laughs> it's been going on for a while and nobody knows whose limbs are where and who's kind of like, it's kind of messy and smells a bit and everybody thinks they're the one getting <laughs> but, they, but actually, 
No one's really sure. Really? You can say that on CBS now. You can. You, you can. can. Yeah. It's true. It's true. They're fine with it. <laughs> but what, what's going to ha what's going to happen? It, do you th do you think it, they're going to actually uh, Brexit? The Brexit thing? I don't know. I, it, the Brexit thing I think is a triumph of the hyperbolic nature of modern media because it's managed to fire up everybody to get interested in which is essentially a trade agreement. We're not talking about NATO here. This is a like, well, are we going to put a tax on Brie or not? How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Am I showing a naive misunderstanding of the Brexit uh, I know, situation? I know nothing. I know nothing. Yes. I think nobody knows anything. I think they all turn up in Brussels like, Phil, what's what to do now? I don't even know. <laughs> you have a new memoir, sir, in case yeah. you didn't know. No, I wrote it. It is yeah. called, it's called Riding the Elephant, mm. a memoir of altercations, humiliations, hallucinations, and observations. There it is right now. What is riding the elephant? Well, are you Hannibal in this? What? No. Although good, but no, I, I went on an elephant ride once uh, a long, long time ago. I wouldn't do that now because I realize now it's wrong. It's wrong to ride elephants. But it was a big elephant and I was smaller at the time, so the elephant probably thought I was a hat or something. But, <laughs> but it, it's, a, it's a collection of stories and it. it I liked that the first story in it is riding the elephant, and it's a story about going on an elephant ride, and also something happened on that elephant ride. And, you know, it was pivotal in my life. But and you're also, not going to tell us what no, it is. No, I'm not going to. Because you've got to buy the book. You've got to buy the book, book to find out what happened. Well, look, here's the ride. truth of it. If you like me, you'll like the book. If you don't like me, you'll hate the book. And if you don't know who I am, I'm not your parents. Buy it, don't buy it. I don't care. <laughs> Do, but okay, so but you were you had a, a you know a popular talk show here for ten years in the United States. Everybody here knows who you are. Mm -hmm. What about? I mean, sort of speaking of people who don't know who you are, do people back home in Scotland are you famous there? I don't know because they keep they play their cards close to their chest. You know they're like hello, and I'll be like, well I tell you I am famous with taxi drivers over the age of fifty. Why? Which is a very lucrative demographic. Why? Why was I don't that? know. I think they all, we all used to drink together uh, at the same time. They became taxi drivers and I got, you know, kicked out of the country. Yeah. And hopefully they stopped drinking before they drove the taxi. Oh, I don't care for your newfangled ideas, Stephen. <laughs> You, you, as I said, you hosted a, you know, you we were in the late night fraternity. Mm -hmm. you no, know, we're, 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 you know, mm -hmm. you, for 10 years. Is there any aspect of it that you miss? Like, do you, do you, no, you miss I, the monologue or no, the guests? No, 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 no. no? I, I tell you what I, what I, I'm glad of. Because, and I, I have to commend you because you, when the political situation became what it was, which was after I left, I, I keep thinking, I wonder how I would have done that. I wonder how I would have coped with that. And I think what you have done is, the, is the, the correct and brave and moral choice, which is you ran at it full, full pace. I think I would have been tempted to stay away from it. Oh, OK. And, and I, I think you're right. I, 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 think I, would have been, I think I would have been tempted to keep running around with a horse and having cheeky banter with the robot skeleton. And that would have been a kind of chicken <laughs> way to do it. So I'm glad, I, I'm glad I didn't do that. I'm glad I didn't have to. And, and now, when I do stand up, I, I do this show, it's like an hour and a half long, and I, I don't mention politics at all to see if I can do it. And well, that sounds delightful. I, I, it actually is a nice break, because all of the stuff that everyone's angry about, it's still there 90 minutes later. So you can take a little break, tell a few jokes, and then 90 minutes later, they can all start <laughs> hurting each other again. That's right. All right. Yeah. yeah. That should be on the poster. <laughs> if you'd read the poster, Stephen, you would know it is on the poster. <laughs> Well, I'll read the book. It's called Riding the Elephant. It's on sale this Tuesday. The man is Craig Ferguson. We'll be right back. Thank you, Thank you Craig. Ronda Rousey will be right out here. We're going to wrestle.